Good morning, everyone. It's Mrs. Hickey here on a Wednesday morning, just taking Bailey out for a quick walk um, in the morning and thought I'd share with you how beautiful it is here in Merrimack and how uh, comforting it is to walk in nature and peaceful. So I thought I'd just share with you. This is my favorite part of my trail that I get to walk every day with Bailey. Um, I don't know. I just love it. Doesn't that seem great? I love it. So um, your assignment for today is already posted and you should be able to get that done away right away. Remember that everything is due on Friday. So this morning I will post the last two pieces of your, the assignment for the week. Um, we're going to talk, uh, we're going to go a little bit more into the current issues of the day, which is one of them is the murder hornet. So maybe you've heard about this here in, um, in the news. Right now, let me just first say, they're not here on the East Coast. They're all on the West Coast, but they're not native to America. So these are these hornets that are like two inches long and their stinger actually penetrates the, um, the protective gear of people who work with bees and hives. So, you know, they have, um, and their, their um, venom is very lethal. So, we're gonna talk a little bit about that. Well, we're talking about it because we've been talking about bees and we're talking about current events this week, So, it, as well as our science. So the murder hornet has made its way from Asia to the West Coast. How do you think the hornet made it that far? Like, did they swim, did they fly? Like, how do you think they made it over the ocean? Message me and let me know what you think about that. We're going to spend some time talking about that um, tomorrow and Friday about the murder hornet and its impact on the bee population. Today's article is all about how the population of bees is already struggling and I want you to think about what would happen if the bees were to be wiped out or to we were to have a significant loss in our bee population. What would happen to our ecosystem? Um, all the pieces that are connected to the bees, but also what would happen to our food supply? You know, how does the food um, that we eat depend on the pollination of bees? So it's a lot to think about. And we think about this little bee and we don't think we, you know, a lot of us run away and, and are afraid of them, but they have a big impact on our ecosystem, but also on our, our food chain and our economy. So something to really think about. Um, besides, what did you think about the honeybees yesterday? Um, I thought they were cool watching that time-lapse video. So lots to think about your assignments in the next two days. We'll be sort of looking at the current situation of bees and also the current situation of the infestation of the murder hornets. So I'm going to finish my walk. I'm going to get a good start to my day. Go have some coffee. I miss all of you. Um, I think this walk in the morning is always super helpful for me to remember that things are okay. I find it very peaceful to come out here. So I hope you're finding your happy place um, and remembering that everything is okay. We are all going to get through this and we're going to be back in this classroom and I will see you again somehow, some way. We, you, you can't get rid of me that easily. Come on. I'm Mrs. Hickey. It's not going to happen. Come on. See you guys soon. Bye.